uh, zoom in a little bit, uh, place a new keyframe here, and what we're gonna what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this um, this checkerboard move like like zooming in, you know, constantly. So that's basically what you do because if you once you click on this timeline, anything that you will uh, change in this uh, in the size that will make that will turn into a movement. <laughs> What's happening guys, my name is Alex and welcome back to a brand new video and in this video guys I'm gonna show you guys how to use keyframes like a boss So let's say that you want to animate something in Vegas Pro 15 and you don't know how to do that in this video Like I said, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to use keyframes like a boss So if you want to see more of those Vegas 15 tutorials Make sure to smash that like button down below and also the subscribe button at the bottom And I would say let's get started. So as you can see right now we are in Vegas Pro 15 and what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off by just dragging in some random uh, stock uh, you know image that Vegas has provided with us so go to the media generators and we're gonna go and drag in a nice checkerboard as you guys can see this one looks really cool uh, this one and what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to use keyframes okay so we're gonna start off by uh, let's say that we want to make this this checkerboard animate you know like let's say that we're gonna make it move so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the event pan crop I can, and, and guys, that's basically what you do, want to do with everything. Like you want to go to the event pan crop because right here, this is the box where we're gonna use the keyframes to make it to, to do anything that has to do with moving or animating or anything like that. So as you can see, this is the box that we have. And right here at the bottom, this is our keyframe timeline just like our, a normal uh, Vegas timeline right here. So what we're gonna do then is we're gonna start off by, uh, let's say that we want to make this uh, this checkerboard zoom in into the screen really slow. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start off by dragging this and make that one really, really small. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna place a keyframe in order to make that move. So we're gonna click right here, and once we do one little thing with our square, as you can see, there's a little dot appearing. So let's say that we want to go ahead and press restore. Now, if we just, as you can see, this is the first keyframe and this is the second one. If we play back this video, this is basically how it looks. It is zooming into the screen, and that's what keyframes are doing. It is really simple, really straightforward. You know, this video is called how to use keyframes like a boss because at the end of the video you guys will know everything about keyframes and that's basically what I wanted to show you guys in this video as well so I would say make sure to smash the subscribe button down below if you guys are new and I would say let's proceed so as you can see this is basically our checkerboard so now that let's say that we want to make this uh, move along the way we're gonna play this keyframe right here then we're gonna go press restore and what we're gonna do is let's say that we're gonna uh, zoom in a little bit we're gonna place a little keyframe right here we're we're gonna also zoom out a little bit, place a new keyframe, uh, zoom in a little bit, uh, place a new keyframe here, and we're gonna what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this um, this checkerboard move like like zooming in, you know, constantly. So that's basically what you do because if you once you click on this timeline, anything that you will uh, change in this uh, in the size that will make that will turn into a movement. So let's say they want to also make it zoom out. So we're gonna go to the very end of the track and we're gonna make this guy small again. So if you play back this video, this is what we applied. We applied to zoom in as you can see. It is zooming in really slow it is zooming in out and right now it's just going to zoom out really really small and that's basically the point of keyframes keyframes are basically little dots you know to in order to make things move make things animate and that's basically how to do it guys it is really simple and I'm gonna show you guys and I'm gonna include a few videos uh, that I've been uploading like maybe like a year ago uh, Showing you guys some things like that I've been using keyframes in that specific video uh, So make sure to stay tuned and watch all the way to the end because this is basically how to do it And you just want to go to the event pan crop it works the exact same for text Like let's say if you go to media generator just click on titles and text We're gonna drag that onto our timeline uh, It's all the same if you want to make text move animate slide into the screen zoom in zoom out slide out of the screen go to the uh, video uh, the event pan crop icon click there and this is basically what you want to do and also if you want to do it like real time just go ahead and click on this one which says sync cursor so anytime if you go ahead and place your marker right here on the real timeline it will also move up 
the the keyframe marker in the keyframe box as you can see so that's really handy movements to your clip so that's how to do it guys this is how to use keyframes like a boss and obviously i'm gonna just show you guys uh, some other videos uh, that i've been uploading in the past that have quite a lot of views and showing you guys um like how to do certain stuff because i cannot explain to you guys how keyframes work with just little sample text you guys need to watch that video so i'm gonna include that video i'm gonna end off the video guys right here i'm gonna thank guys for watching and i will see you guys when the videos are done what's happening guys my name is alex and welcome to the last 28 tutorial of the day and in this video guys i want to quickly tell you guys i want to quickly thank you guys for almost 450,000 views a month so not total views a month so 450k it's crazy I would, i'm just gonna aim for those 500,000 like within this year so thanks again for that and in, in this video guys i'm going to show you guys how to animate text well there are like thousand ways to animate text so i think like, like I'm, I'm just gonna show you guys you know one of the, uh, the like the regular ones like very standard so um, um, hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to smash the like button down below already and i would say let's get started all right guys so we're in sony vegas right now and i'm going to show you guys how to animate text and like how it how, like how to you know move it so the first thing that we need is a text file so we're going to go to media generators right there so then we're going to take a text file so we're going to go to the titles and text at the left as you can see at the left and we're going to drag this one on top of our timeline so right now we have sample text um, so what we're going to do is let's say I'm just gonna say my name like just is that gonna fit just Alex Halford But when it's a little bit too big, we're gonna make it a little bit smaller. Let's say 35 That's good and basically to animate this guys. It's really simple You only want to use keyframes for right, guys and right here in this window I'll pop it up, you know uh, real quick. So in this window guys, we are going to uh, make our Keyframes. So what we're going to do, I'm going to put this one like right here so you guys can see it properly. What we want to do is when you want to animate text, when you, let's say I'm just going to let it come from the top to the middle. So what you want to do is, as you guys can see, we at the, at the, at the beginning of our timeline with the keyframes, you just want to put your text, you know, out of the screen. And to lock it, you just want to click on this icon so we, you can put it like from left to right without, you know, doing anything else. But I'm just going to, you know, do it from the top to the bottom. To start off, you just want to put this one outside of the screen as you can see so my name is gone then you just want to place a keyframe i would say like right here and just right click and restore then we have our text again in the screen so let's see how it looks right now so that is our text coming from um like the bottom but if you want to go for like get it from the top what you want to do is go click on this first keyframe and you want to see this window put it like on the other side like right there so let's see how it looks right now let's put this keyframe a little bit closer and guys how close the keyframe is to the beginning how fast it's gonna go so let's see what we have already so that's really simple guys so you can use all kind of different directions like let's let's say I'm gonna remove this keyframe and uh, let's let's say I'm gonna go back to restore and I want to have it like from the middle um, outside of the screen is what we're going to do now is I'm just going to place keyframe right there I'm just gonna drag this guy out outside of the screen so let's see how it looks right now so it's, it's going outside of the screen as you guys can see and that's basically the thing guys the thing is I'll, I'll explain keyframes real quick um, at the you know at the very beginning at the bottom you get you guys can see that you guys can see that it's the, it's the starting position for your, for your text and if you put a keyframe you're going to click and it's going to make a little spot where you want the text to be um like wherever you want it so i'm just going to click on this keyframe let's see right there and let's put this one to the side so that our first starting position is just in the middle then we put our keyframe and then put it to the right and this is how it's going to look as you guys can see it's going outside it's going outside of the screen and you can do this with any you know kind of text uh, like you know um, how you call it like effects like text it doesn't matter but if you want to say like I want to have like a pre um, pre-made like um, animated text you can do that as well drop split you can make this already made for you but if you, want to, if you want to do it yourself just go ahead and work with the keyframes right here so you can actually put it like right there and let's see and I put another keyframe I'm gonna put it like on the other side so let's see how it's going to look so we're gonna have this one at the beginning and it's going to slide to the left and then it's gonna slide to the right so that's how you animate text guys it's really simple I know it's just a, it's a matter 
it is just a matter of using keyframes. And that's with some of those guys, that's how you use keyframes and also how to animate text. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this video was helpful to you and that's the end of the video. So that's how you animate text guys. It's really simple, I know. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to smash the like button down below for more videos and also make sure to smash the subscribe button down below. Thank you for liking and commenting on this video. I will see you guys tomorrow for actually two videos of reacting to videos from subscribers and an extra video. So thanks again and I hope to see you guys tomorrow. So until... <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, I'm not, I'm not going to cut that out. Okay, thank you guys again. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Yo. Yo, dude. Ja? Ik ben nu op, op dit moment Sony Vegas aan het opnemen. Ja? Twee eilotten. Alright, I got a quick phone call from LTJ the official, but I'm gonna thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna end off this video. Thanks again, and I hope to see you guys tomorrow for three new videos. So, thank you guys, and I will see you guys tomorrow. So that's this fairly video guys, I want to thank you guys for watching, thank you for the continued support and this is how to do it, that's how to use keyframes like a boss, I hope those videos were helpful and if not make sure to let me know in the comments down below and obviously I will see you guys tomorrow. Just Alex Halford.